ladies and gentlemen, this is a big, big game today. It is the Champions League quarterfinal first leg against PSG. And ladies and gentlemen, it's been a good season so far. Let's have a look at the league table. You can see here, we are still currently undefeated with our Oli at the wheel tactic. We've played 31. We've drawn five, which has been very harsh for us, I would say. We've won 26 and we haven't lost a game. You can see we're scoring a lot of goals. 81 goals we scored, only 16 we have let in this season, which is not a bad return. Goal difference, 65. We are literally, ladies and gentlemen, about 19 points away from second place. We have been, wow, just I don't know what to call it. It's been good, but, you know, still work to be done personally. Let's look at the schedule, ladies and gentlemen, see where we last left off. It was the 2-1. Well, it was the 2-1 win, but obviously we lost the penalties against Barcelona. Again, it didn't work out for us when Hakimi got sent off. But we managed to claw it back um, to bring it into extra time, but it just wasn't enough. Then we played Sevilla again at home, ladies and gentlemen, 6-1. Haaland with the brace, Hazard, Varane, Bruno Fernandes and Tubo, Kubo sorry, with the goal. Bruno Fernandes has been pitching in a lot, ladies and gentlemen, here. Then if we look at, we played Real Sociedad. Again, 3-0, a, a hat-trick by Bruno Fernandes, ladies and gentlemen. That put us in a nice, nice, comfortable lead. Um, it was a great game. We played really well. Um, then we played Zenit's Petersburg, 4-2. A bit of a mixed-up squad we had. You can see Rodrigo again, our youngster. And Vinicius Jr. You can see these youngsters are really doing good. And we're gaining them the match experience of playing in high-level football. And it's doing really good. We then played Espanyol, beating them 2-0. You can see Asensio and Hazard with the goal. Then Ferreal, a very harsh game, very annoying game. Um, but we were never at the races. A lot of our players didn't perform. Haaland didn't perform. Hazard, Sergio Ramos um, and the rest of them but we knew that we needed to rest a few players. But anyway, uh, Vinicius Jr. with the 45th minute strike meant that we got the points away from home. Then we played Ovedo. Again, 6-1, ladies and gentlemen. A hat-trick by Haaland. You can see Rodrigo, Asensio, Upamecano with being sent off in 55 minute, And you can see Luka Modric with the goals. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into it, ladies and gentlemen, I must say we need to talk about some signings that are coming here today, ladies and gentlemen. Well, later on should i say they haven't showed it here so we will have a look ladies and gentlemen. remember what i said we are here to bring in youngsters ladies and gentlemen you can see here phil Foden, ladies and gentlemen 45 million up front could go to 155 we know how Foden is ladies and gentlemen again someone who can play in the central of midfield and in that number 10 role as i said is rise of galacticos we are trying to get the galacticos then you can see 61 million for Mason Greenwood goes up to 174 with add-ons and everything else. He's a 20-year-old striker. Somebody, again, who's going to be coming in, can play on the right and the left, but, you know, probably be somebody that's going to come in to play up front. And Mason Greenwood is somebody that we're going to bring in. So that is the two subjects. That's the two signings that we've done so far to come in um, next season. We still have 168 million in the bank, 737K per week. It's going to be a great, 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 great season. Well, pre well, end of season, should I say, when we're going to look at some players to buy. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're not here for that. We're here for the big game. We are playing PSG. Let's see how it's going to go. And let's get straight into the team selection. We are at home, so we're going to go for it, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the team that we have. We have Courtois in goal. Back four, Mendy, Ramos, Varane, Hakimi. Middle of Cruz and Casemiro. Hazard, Fernandez. And Odegaard as the attacking free and Erling Haaland up front. It is the big game. We want to make sure that we're winning this Champions League again. It's going to do good financially for us. But also, it would be possibly the third time we could potentially win it in a row. That's how great we've been. And we're going to try and see... For those that don't know, next season we might change it up a bit with another of the tactics that we use. We've got our Guardiola Tiki Taka football. Maybe we might use that. We'll have to wait and see. But we will say PSG are no mugs. They have big, big players. Mbappe, Neymar, Salah. Wow, it's ridiculous. I don't know what to do. It's going to be very difficult here, ladies and gentlemen. It's not going to be easy. Their front three or four is just unbelievable. Um, we're going to have to encourage the boys and hopefully see what we can do. It's not going to be an easy game here, ladies and gentlemen. Neymar, Mbappe, Salah, that is a front three. But we're going to have to wait and see what we can do 
uh, it's going to be a difficult game. I really don't know where it's going to go. Um, I'm hoping that we'll be able to do what we need to do. But Bruno Fernandes with the free kick, whipped into that near post, gets headed out. Luckily for us, Hakimi's on that ball on that right-hand side. Again, I have to say, I know I've said it before, Hakimi for me is one of the best wing-backs or full-backs in this game. Personally, personally speaking, I believe that. Um, but let's get back into the game. Cruz with the corner, whipped in that back post, gets headed out. We need to be making sure we're getting that, getting those in on target, not getting cleared by the opposition. Oh gosh, Neymar Jr. with the free kick, whipped in that back post, headed out. Come on, let's get that. Haaland is too too late for that. It's too slow for that, should I say. Kempembe on the ball, Garcia, Salah on the ball. We need to be very careful here. Odegaard manages to get rid of the ball there. Chilwell, long ball over into Salah, gets tackled in Neymar. And there we go, it's 1-0 to PSG. Um... I'm going to make a slight change um, box to box. We're going to leave it. We're going to play him ball winning um, on defense. Let him drop in a little bit. That's that's very annoying. Uh, let's the shout demand more. It's not the start that we wanted. PSG are playing away, so they will have the advantage of the away goals. Um, but now it's about how we... Um, respond to that we haven't had a shot on target so far which is a bit bad considering we're playing at home um but so far we're playing six and fives mendy with the throw again a poor throw who was that to casemiro on the ball again plays it into sergio ramos does get tackled this is just ridiculous i don't know what's going on here right and kimpembe on the ball to chill well Let's see how they're going to make some sort of mistake. They do manage to play a long ball over to, to the wide areas that they didn't need to cruise back into Hakimi. Come on, Hakimi, whip that ball in. We know what you can do. He finds all the gun does get tackled, but that's not a penalty. That's a free kick. Looking at that, that's a free kick. If we do get a penalty, I'm not going to complain. 100% not going to complain, but it's a free kick. It was on the line. Um, it wasn't in the box, so I'm seeing, I'm hoping that, well, I'm hoping it's going to be a penalty, but yeah, I knew it wasn't going to be. It was going to be a free kick. Are we going to see a highlight for the free kick? No, we ain't. We need to go into the into the first half. We're going to have to speak to the boys because this is not good enough. Um, we're playing six and six fives, six and fives. Not great at all. Berate the boys. It's got to be a lot more better here. Right, we go into the first half and. You know, you probably say it's all been PSG. And um, I'm not happy with that. We're going to have to make some sort of change right here. We're going to pause it. Let's have a look at our instructions and see what we can work with. Um, let's go into working through the middle. There ain't really much that we can actually do, if I'm honest with you. In possession, um, out of possession, maybe let's drop the line a bit. Um let's let's force them on the outside um and let's just see how that works so far the players haven't turned up at all cruz hasn't turned up 6.6 order guard as well um harland hasn't hasn't got into the game um let's let's um demand more from harland <sighs> 53 minutes and oh again Casemiro on the ball here plays it into Odegaard into Hakimi Hakimi skips past one plays it in how did we miss that ladies and gentlemen I don't know but we're going to make a substitution Odegaard's not having the best of games um Vinicius Jr is going to have to come on that right hand side he, he just hasn't been on it at all we've got Tony Cruz but we know what Tony Cruz can do that's the thing you know what we can't even demand more anything. Well, we can now demand more. Haaland. Haaland's not having the best of games. Um, we're going to have to take him off. We're going to have to put on Benzema. I know this might come to haunt me, but listen, ben Haaland has not had a good game today. He has not had a good game today at all. We're going to have to go attack him. We're going to have to get something at least from this game. We've had eight shots, one on target. It's really poor. Cruz with the corner, whips ball in his head and... Just over by Sergio Ramos. What is going on? Right. Oh, my days. I'm not sure what... Hazard again. 6.5 is... 
it's just not been good at all, right? But we're, we're gonna pause it there. Um, we're gonna have to go for it. It's probably the most silliest thing I could ever do, but at the moment now, there's literally nothing we can do. We're gonna have to play free out front. Um, let's have Hazard as a Traquista on attack, and then let's have pressing forward on attack. The most silliest thing you could potentially do, maybe, um, but there's honestly there's nothing we can do. We're gonna have to um, overlap. Let's hit early crosses. We're gonna have to go very direct out of possession um, in transition. Sorry, straight away counter press, take long kick, and let's see how this goes. This could come back to bite me, but it's been very poor. Nine shots, one on target at home. It's not been good, but you know, we've had three clear cut chances. It says, well, four now. Um, and if we are going to get anything from this game, it has to be now. Um, looks like Neymar has been sent off. Vinicius Juno takes the shot back to Cruz. Can we get this? Cruz plays it into Mendy. Mendy plays it into Cruz. Come on, let's make this count. Into Mendy. Mendy continue getting. He crosses it. Ah, come on. Damn it, I hate it when they do these highlights because we know that nothing's going to happen. That's the most annoying thing. Mendy with the long throw to nobody. And that's going to be the end of the first leg. It's been terrible from us. Neymar ain't going to be playing in the next game and we better make sure that we make this count. Um, if this... Go yeah. I don't know, man. It's, it's not been a good game. Ten shots, one on target. That is so poor. Neymar's been sent off, which means maybe in the next leg we might have a better chance but you know it's only one nil um which is not bad but looking at the stats it's saying that we had uh, a lot more clear clear cut chances than them but we just managed not to create anything whatsoever chelsea won their game 3-1 against man, man united so that'll be interesting to see who goes through there but we still got work to do but 1-0 away from 1-0 at home, I guess, is not the be and an end all um, of us. But we need to make sure we definitely come back. Again, Benzema has not been great with us. But again, he's somebody that's going to be leaving as well. But ladies and gentlemen, let's have a look. We are, ain't going to play much offline, I must say. We are going to come back for the PSG second leg. And I'm hoping that we are going to play a lot more better than we have so far this season. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today. Don't forget that we will be back for the second leg. And again, let me know what you think about the two signings that we've done so far um, of Phil Foden and Mason Greenwood. Do you think we've overplayed for them or do you think that's just about right? Considering you think about their age, again, it depends on um, incentives of obviously what they achieve depending on what we pay. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is Football Manager Maniac. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel as always. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much and take care.